My name is Mark Angelich. Um, I'm from a family of three boys and one girl. I grew up in Ontario. And um, grew up in a Christian family my whole entire life. I played soccer six days a week and my whole goal in life was to become a professional soccer player. And that was derailed from a knee injury. So I took up carpentry instead. So that brings me to um, getting married. I've been married for 20 years in May to my beautiful wife, Jackie. And we have four girls, ages ranging from um, turning 20 in February all the way to twin 14-year-olds. So it's been pretty, pretty amazing ride for the last, uh, well, let's say 20 years for sure. Uh, Jackie and I moved here with the girls about a year and a half ago. So it was 2021, August 20th, 2021, we left Ontario and headed out here on a two week adventure. Uh, we moved out here to start a hobby farm with friends of ours. And that's that's been going pretty neat. Um, we got out here and we moved into two uh, outbuildings. I had six of us in two different outbuildings, a kitchen in one and two people slept there and then four of us in another building. Uh, we quickly realized we needed to find a house. So we've been in Armstrong, yeah, for the last year and a half or so. Um, BC's been great. Uh, I've had a friend live out here for the last 20 years, so I've had the opportunity to visit every second or third year for 20 years. And I've always known that BC was a place I would like to go to. Um, then my wife and I started having kids, so BC was not an option for a while. And our kids hit a certain age and we decided that it was time to move. It was now or never, so to speak. And since moving out here, I can tell you, all our kids really enjoy it. My wife really loves being out here with the views, the mountain, the lakes, uh, the people. Every Everything is, is really nice and just different than Ontario. The weather is much nicer too, most of the time. The winter here has actually been very similar to Ontario, even though we've been told that it's supposed to be different and supposed to be warmer and supposed to be shorter. So far, we've not experienced that in two winters. <laughs> oh, my faith journey. It's a pretty long story. Um, well, like every kid, in a Christian family. I grew up in a, in a Christian Reformed church. Um, a bunch of old Dutch people who were very serious about their faith, but also very serious about keeping rules um, according to what they thought the Bible said. So I grew up going to church, but I would skip out Sundays after church and go and play soccer and and found out very quickly that the people in our church did not appreciate that, thinking we weren't resting on Sunday as we were supposed to. And my argument was God made me a soccer player and this is how I rest and this is how I recover from a week's long uh, school, school week or work week even. So I found it beneficial in my rest. So as I'm growing up, we go to um, Sunday school and then we progress into catechism and then we go and do profession of faith so I believe it's the age of around 14 13 14 I stand up in front of the church and I did my profession of faith but I can honestly say looking back now I'm pretty sure I did that for the cake and the presents afterwards not that I was ready to do it so then as I'm growing up and I'm continuing going to church, and now I have kids and we're, I'm with my wife and she also came from a Christian Reformed church. We 
We are doing the right things by sending our kids to church. We show up and, and we try to be involved as much as we can, but we just, for me anyway, I don't want to speak for my wife, but for me, I was never fully um, diving into the Bible. Um, I never found myself picking the Bible up and um, trying to really see what his word was saying to us. Well, what changed was um, we had a few um, family struggles over the years um, with my girls in high school and, and with some bullying and things like that. And <clears throat> I started to realize that as a strong dad, I couldn't do everything on my own. I needed to um, find help somewhere. And after looking everywhere but the Bible and not finding the, the help and strength that I actually needed, um, we moved to BC and just felt this uh, new beginning, I guess, is easy to say. And then we started coming to Emmanuel and, and meeting people here. And uh, I think a lot of encouragement from people that we met here and then realizing how deep the faith is here. And then I just, just started, you know, one day it just kind of, it hit me and, and it was one of Pastor Don's uh, sermons and I, I can't sit here and tell you exactly what it was, but uh, um, he was saying some pretty neat things, but the devil came in at the exact same time and was actually attacking me during the service. And I knew then that I had to start digging into the Bible, that having this um, passive faith wasn't, wasn't going to be good enough to show my kids how to um, live their life and as a adult male how to lead my family so I needed to dig into the Bible and really learn um, how to I guess I guess how to love really how to love like Jesus loves and uh, it's amazing when when he grabs your heart how quickly he can change that and you don't really know you don't really understand that until it happens to you you can you can see people say it and you can see it in people but until it actually happens to you and you actually accept God in your life it's a pretty amazing um, change oh accepting Christ um, it to me it means that I I know that he came to earth as a in flesh to die for our sins so that we wouldn't so that we can be forgiven and that we can have eternal life through God and all we need to do is accept Jesus and and um, ask for forgiveness and, and have a personal relationship with Jesus and and since doing that my life has changed by just how I interact with people, how I interact with my own children and my wife. Um, um, accepting God means trying to follow the same footsteps that he did uh, uh, when he came to earth and was talking to the various people that he talked to and, and showing the love that he showed. And that is such a great example for us to follow. And I can say that I'm nowhere near where Jesus ever was, but even that tiny little bit that I'm getting, I'm gaining each day is creating a, a strong foundation in, in being a Christian and, and learning how to love the proper way. Um, Favorite Bible passages or verses? I don't know that I have a favorite Bible passage or verse. What I am enjoying about reading the Bible and um, 
What I'm finding interesting is something, I had a conversation with Pastor Don and he told me, when I read the Bible, ask yourself this when you're done, what amazes you about Jesus? And ever since I started reading the Bible, and I'm reading it very slowly so I can make sure I, I grasp the concept of each passage, each 15 to 20 verses that I read. And after I'm done those 15, 20 verses and I ask myself that question, it really allows me to see really how amazing Jesus is in the different ways he, he talks and treats people and just his communication style is, I think that's what I'm really enjoying um, reading. Um, one of my favorite things about the Bible is when Jesus is performing all his miracles right in front of the Pharisees. And I, I really enjoy how angry they get because that was me. And now that I can see from the other side how much the Pharisees are actually missing, such knowledgeable people missing, they're missing so many crucial pieces to really understand and know Jesus. So I think those are my favorite parts. But there is a passage in James, and I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, I'm not great with memorizing um, verses and things like that, but it talks about how you're going to, um, you're going to have tough times and, and they're going to make you stronger, basically. And the reason I, I like that section is because when I was sitting in church and I felt the devil attacking me and uh, listening to Don's preaching and then the words Don was saying at that time really helped me come out of that and helped the, the devil leave that, that situation. I had a friend of mine later that day spontaneously send me that passage in James just to remind me that being a Christian isn't always going to be easy and that there will be struggles and there will be times of trial and and Satan is going to try and and take over your life and, and ruin your relationship with God. But if you stand firm in the faith and you really believe that Jesus is God, there's nothing that you can over you can't overcome. Well, I'm why I want to be baptized, I'm a guy who really likes to ask questions and sometimes I like to ask the hard questions to my pastors to see whether they squirm or whether they have a, a really um, biblical foundational answer to what I'm thinking because I do like getting into these deep conversations and I find it difficult with a lot of people to, to get into that. So I've talked with Pastor Andrew actually about this and and he never really expanded on too much. He wanted me to think about it myself. So I did start thinking about this and I, I was thinking about baptism as a baby. And I was baptized as a baby. And like I said, I did profession of faith. And what I realized out of all the things I've gone through in the last 42 years, that being baptized as a baby is great. But as a baby, you don't know what you're getting into. So it, being baptized as a baby is more of the congregation coming and supporting your parents and supporting you as a child and, and promising to help raise you in a Christ, Christian lifestyle the, to the best of their ability. I realized when I did profession of faith, it's just an easy way to tell people that, yeah, you believe in God, but really kind of hiding behind your your emotion or maybe your lack of knowledge, um, but just getting it done because that's kind of what's expected of you at Christian Reformed Church. Um, what I realize now is that being baptized is my choice and it's my decision as, a, as someone who can understand the Bible and understand what Jesus is doing. And I'm not saying you have to be 42, you could be 13 or 14, I just happened to come at this at this age. But now that I understand, I can, I can fully walk in the um, way Jesus has been telling us we need to walk. I can understand how to love 
I can understand what I should and shouldn't do. Um, and I want to confess my sins to Jesus and ask for forgiveness and, and be baptized and just um, um, be a part of the body of Christ in, in the best, deepest way possible. And I feel baptism is at least the beginning of that and a very important part. So that's why I want to be baptized. Well, I'd like to share that I believe in God, the Father Almighty. I believe God sent his son, Jesus, into the world as flesh to show true love and compassion, to teach us how to live our lives, how to take care of one another. I believe Jesus came to take away my sin and gave me the chance for eternal life in heaven. I'm here today to invite Jesus Christ into my life and have him work inside me to help further the kingdom of God. I want to surrender my life to Jesus and I'm committed to serve Jesus to the best of my abilities. I want to lead my family in the word of the Lord and love them the way Jesus loves us. I'm born again in Christ and when people see me, my hope is they can see Jesus alive in me. Church, let us live our lives in Jesus' name honor and worship our Father and tell everyone we can about the good news of Jesus Christ. We have two births. Our first birth gets us onto the earth and our second birth gets us off the earth. I am a child of God and I'm no longer a slave to fear.